Good morning. It's Keith Oglesby with Christ Episcopal Church. It's Friday, June 25th. Thank you for joining me today. We're modifying our modification. We'll do a little bit longer uh, of our readings. We'll do a complete psalm appointed for today, which is Psalm 102. And then we'll read our passage from Luke, which is Luke chapter 22, verses 31 through 38. But again, still an abbreviated morning prayer. Hope this will be a time of just uh, rest, that this will be a good way to begin your day resting in God's love. So let's take a moment of silence and we'll begin with an opening sentence of scripture and with our confession of sin. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins, through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. And now again, our uh, psalm appointed is Psalm 102. And I'm just going to read this quietly and uh, hopefully in a way that is, uh, it, it makes you able to hear perhaps a little bit differently than you might hear it if you're just going through it routinely. Uh, it is a psalm where someone is crying out to God and that God hears us. No matter where we are, if it's in a dark valley or on top of a mountain, that God's with us in joy and in times of distress. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me. When I call, make haste to answer me. For my days drift away like smoke, and my bones are hot as burning coals. My heart is smitten like grass and withered, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the voice of my groaning, I am but skin and bones. I have become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake and groan. I am like a sparrow, lonely on a housetop. My enemies revile me all day long, and those who scoff at me have taken an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and wrath, you have lifted me up and thrown me away. My days pass away like a shadow, and I wither like the grass. But you, O Lord, endure forever, and your name from age to age. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have mercy upon her. Indeed, the appointed time has come, for your servants love her very rubble, and are moved to pity even for her dust. The nations shall fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion, and his glory will appear. He will look with favor on the prayer of the homeless. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord looked down from his holy place on high, from the heavens he beheld the earth, that he might hear the groan of the captive and set free those condemned to die, that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms also to serve the Lord, he has brought down my strength before my time. He has shortened the number of my days. And I said, O oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. 
your years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning, O Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you will endure. They shall wear out like a garment. As clothing, you will change them, and they will be changed. But you are always the same, and your years will never end. The children of your servants shall continue, and their offspring shall stand fast in your sight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now our reading is from, again, the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 22, and it's verses 20, or excuse me, 31 through 38. Jesus said, Simon, Simon, listen, Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your own faith may not fail, and you, when once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. And he said to him, Lord, I'm ready to go with you to prison and to death. Jesus said, I tell you, Peter, the cock will not crow this day until you have denied three times that you know me. He said to them, when I sent you out without a purse, bag, or sandals, did you lack anything? They said, no, not a thing. He said to them, but now, but now the one who has a purse must take it, and likewise a bag, and the one who has no sword must sell his cloak and buy one. For I tell you, this scripture must be fulfilled in me. And he was counted among the lawless. And, and indeed, what is written about me is being fulfilled. They said, Lord, look, here are two swords. And he replied, it is enough. So you may want to go back and read this on your own. It's again, like all scripture, very rich with layers of meaning, but at least one that stands out is, remember, this is right before Jesus' arrest, uh, waiting for that time. And he's praying for his disciples, even to the end. And he says, especially to Simon, to Peter, that he's praying for him. And he says, when you uh, deny me, which he says later, I'm praying that you're, when you're turning back, that you'll turn back to faith in me and strengthen your brothers. That's on, uh, in verse 32. So that role that we have when we fail, not only to come back to God, but to help our brothers and sisters come back to God as well. So I hope you'll consider that lesson uh, that our Lord was teaching even at the end of his earthly life. And now as we continue our prayers, uh, the collect that I use, um, even though it's not the Friday collect, I really like it. So I'll be right on the the cutting edge. And it's page 100, a collect for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And now let us bless the Lord Thanks be to God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Pray you have a wonderful Friday, and I hope to see many of you in church sometime soon, and uh, have a wonderful weekend until that time. May God bless you.